Hey guys, Volusial here. Today I'm going to do a countdown of my picks for my top 10 mounts that can drop. Starting off with spot number 10, we have a Pure Blood Firehawk, which I actually quite like a lot. But the model is now used for three different mounts with different color variations. The Fell Firehawk, which is the green version, and we have the Corrupted Firehawk, which is the purple version. But this is the only one of the three that is a mount that can drop. So that is why this one is on the list. And the reason it is at number 10 and not lower is because, well, the model is quite overused by having three mounts having the same model. But also, the way it flies looks a bit weird to me, so I decided to put it on number 10. But it is a really nice mount, however. Moving on to number 9. At number 9 I decided to put Mimiron's Head. I put this on this list mainly because it's really unique looking. There is no other mount there is that is a robot mechanical head flying thing. And also because it was one of the mounts that took me the most time to get. I believe it was 189 attempts in Ulduan, and that was very painful. But I really like how it looks and stuff, but the, th the thing that got it to a number 9 and not lower was the fact that it is annoying as hell hearing that stupid sound it makes when you fly it. And yeah, there is no other explanation for that, it being a number 9 than that. It's just annoying as hell. Moving on to number 8. At number 8 I decided to put Ashes of Alar, the very familiar, well-known mount in World of Warcraft. I'm pretty sure most of you have seen it somewhere before. I really like how it looks. It's very colorful and it's very pretty. It is also very unique and those are the like positive things that got it to where it is on the list. And the um, negative things that also got it to be a bit high on the list is although it looks pretty it has these colors flying towards your screen when you're flying it is also annoying as hell seeing those colors just flashed in your face repeatedly as you fly it's really annoying but other than that it's a really cool mount and we are going to move on to number seven Spot number 7 goes to Flame Talon of Alishrasa, the second mount from Firelands. I decided to put both mounts on this list as, as they are quite different from one another. And this one actually looks a bit better than the other one, in my opinion. This is only a ground mount, however, but it's still really awesome. It also has uh, two other mounts that uses the same model, one being the Void Talon, a purple one, and the other one, Raven Lord, which is a bluish one. All of those three are actually drop mounts, but I prefer this one. And yeah, there aren't actually any bad things to this, except that there are more than one mount using this model. Moving on to number six. At spot number six, I put in the Iron Hoof Destroyer from Warlords of Draenor. It is a pretty new mount considering it was added in the last expansion and it is also quite unique. It looks really amazing with the armor it got and the fire coming out from the armor and, and its eyes even and those tusks at, uh, coming out of its mouth it looks really badass. It's really um, it's really cool looking however I I would prefer that horn thing with fire coming out of it on its head there. Well, not there. It looks really stupid in my opinion. But that's the only negative thing about it. It looks really fucking good. Sorry for that language there, but it looks great. Moving on to number 5. Moving into the top 5, we have the Headless Horseman's Mount. Which is very unique, except that it looks somewhat like the fiery warhorse from Karasan, but this one can fly, so that's that. And this is 
however, only obtainable one month or so a year, which is the month of October, going into November, I believe, at the Halloween Hallow's End event. But besides that, this is just one epic mount, man. Not many people have it because of the low drop rate, but I'm sure proud to have it. Moving on to number 4. Moving into the top 5, we have the Headless Horseman's mount, which is very unique, except that it looks somewhat like the fiery warhorse from Karasan. But this one can fly, so that's that. And this is, however, only obtainable one month or so a year, which is the month of October, going into November, I believe, at the Halloween Hallow's End event. But besides that, this is just one epic mount. At spot number four, we have Invincible. You know what's better than a flying horse? A flying dead horse, because why not? This is so cool, it's undescribable. There is, however, a bad thing about it, but it's not that bad that it drags it to a better rank at my top 10 list here. It is, it could get an update, but otherwise it is quite outdated, since it's from all the way back in Wrath of the Lich King. Yeah. But it's really awesome and I was very happy to get this mount because it's been my favorite mount for quite a while. So I at least had to include this in my list somewhere. Moving on to number 3. Going into the top 3 we have the Drake of the North Wind. Which to many of you might seem quite weird now that I've mentioned that having a mount with more mounts sharing the model. I dislike, but to this mount I simply could not say the same rule. Mostly because this looks really fucking sick, it's unlike any other dragon mounts in the game. This looks amazing and this one in particular has the coolest colors of them all. This white grey thing with some light blue mixed in looks very nice. The model thing does drag it up to a 3 instead of a 2, but that's all about it. Moving on to number 2. At number 2 we have the Clutch of Chikun. This is a really awesome looking bird in my opinion. I have not seen any other bird mounts in the game with such an awesome looking model. There is nothing that's negative about this. It's a really cool mount and if it hadn't been for the mount at the first spot, this would surely have been on my top one spot for a mount that could drop. So, without further ado, let's go to the number one spot on my list. And my very favorite drop mount is the Astral Cloud Seven, which is, fun enough, also the most recent one I've got. But that is not why it's number one. And yet again, this is also a mount that have sharing some model with, I don't know, at least 